Monday. It's lunch time now, so we're eating lunch. And I'm gonna show me what you got. What's on your plate? That, 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 that. So this morning we um, have just hung around the house. We did some Zumba and Abram danced with us, didn't you? Today was really awesome because Andy, for the first time in like a week, napped for an hour without being in the car. For some reason this past week was super challenging and she would only nap for like 15 minutes at a time unless we were in the car, which is not always practical. So now we're just sitting down to lunch and I have a banjo lesson that I have to give on FaceTime in like 15 minutes, so we're just gonna eat. Um, I made some guacamole yesterday for one of our Mother's Day gatherings and so I'm having that with some quinoa and some black beans. I was gonna have chicken but I ended up just having this so I'll probably have to add something with it so I don't get hungry later. You want a plate? Yep. <laughs> I don't think she has yellow overalls. This one does have yellow on it, though. This one. Is that how you want it to be? Are getting ready for supper. I am going to make this low carb egg roll in a bowl by Stylish Cravings. Um, it says it only takes 15 minutes, which it always takes me longer to make recipes than it says. But anyway, a few weeks ago, my cousin and I made dumplings and they were really good. And I really liked the filling of them. And I was like, this could be a meal all on its own. So then I found this. So I pinned it and so we're gonna see, but there's the recipe there. And, oh, and when I look at my computer, every time I edit videos or do whatever, this is what I see. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a result of my son stepping on my computer one time by accident. Um, so I'm hoping maybe I can get that repaired. Um, have you guys ever had to repair a laptop? Anyway, that's beside the point. There's tonight's meal. All right, so it's 6.02. Let's see how long this takes. Okay, so this is how it turned out. It's okay. Maybe once it sits longer, it'll be better. I think it needs something. Uh, maybe once I top it with soy sauce when we eat it, it'll be better. Hey squad, so today is actually Tuesday. I did not go back and sort of wrap up the vlog yesterday, and so I wanted to come back and show you what we did yesterday evening. So I wanted to show you a few of the ways that we are passing the time and actually spending some quality time together. We, we do watch TV and we get on our phones and we do all the things that I feel like everybody is doing during this time, um, but we're also playing games. So I have our stack here. Most of these, with the exception of one, were thrifted. Um, so I just wanna go through and show them to you. The first one is actually what we were playing yesterday. I actually bought this for Andy, but Abram discovered it last night and he really liked it. It is a wooden Melissa and Doug Minnie Mouse game and it's got these little pieces for her head, for her arms, for her legs, and you can make different combinations of her outfits or you can use it as a matching tool and say find the purple ones, find the yellow ones, um, and then you put them in this little outline of her body and he actually had so much fun with that. I would never have thought, but 
he would he was focusing on the colors and trying to make things match and then he would say I want to make her have this face I want to make her have this bow so here's this and um, I think I may have shared this in a thrift haul last year I'm not sure but anyway I thought this was gonna be just for her but he ended up liking it as well so this is something new to us um, from the thrift store that we haven't played with yet. Um, this is a safari animal shaped lacing game. I paid $2.50 for this. The, I can't remember about the Minnie Mouse game, how much I paid for it, but this is a safari lacing game and it says for ages three and up. And if you don't know, I have a background in occupational therapy. That's what my degree is in. And so anything like this, I just fall in love with. And so it's just what it says. It's a lacing game. Like I said, we haven't tried it yet, but um, just to work on fine motor coordination. There's an elephant, an alligator, a rhinoceros, a lion, and a giraffe. And so I just think this will be super fun. Also, as I'm looking at it now, on the back it has the word giraffe and then it has it in French and in Spanish. So I just think that is so cute well worth two dollars and fifty cents all right the next one is the one game that is not from the thrift store uh abram's birthday was in april and we are big fans of pete the cat in our house so i actually found this on amazon and uh i sort of created a a gift list on amazon i like that you're able to do that and then i was able to send that to his relatives who had asked about getting him a gift and so his grandparents got him this and it is a Pete the Cat I Love My Buttons game. So it goes along with Groovy Buttons. If you've read that book to your kids or if you know about that book, it just has these little playing cards with all these different shapes. And then it has a little grabber tool that is Pete. And you use it to pick up buttons out of Pete's room. And there is a spinner that tells you different buttons to push or it has uh, different instructions and this has been really fun for us to play as a family we're getting to a really fun age now where we can actually play some games and you can tell that he's enjoying it and i think that's only going to continue as he grows i think we see all these posts about wanting our kids to stay little and not wanting them to grow up and while sometimes that can be totally true and and it's so sweet i think celebrating every age is so important and the fact that he's able to be attentive and these games can hold his attention and he can follow the rules sometimes i think that has been really fun for me to experience another thrift store find for a dollar you cannot go wrong with classic memory i also found around christmas time uh toy story 3 memory and that is at his grandparents house for him to play with his cousin um, and i mentioned this on my stories I believe you can go and look on my story highlights from when I've done thrift hauls and yard sale hauls because that's kind of what I do but this is a great game because it can be graded up or down so that means it can make it easier or harder so if I if I'm playing this with Abram I don't usually dump out all of the cards because that's way too overwhelming and if you look it says it's ages three to six so since he is on the younger end of that spectrum I don't put out all of the cards now, if we're not really playing memory and we're more so just matching, then I will just spread them out and then we can turn them over and find matches. All right, the last game, if you watched one of my last vlogs, then you will remember seeing us play this. This is called Where is Sock Monkey? This cost me a dollar and this might be my favorite just because it is so cute. It comes with a little sock monkey and the object of the game is that one person hides him and then the rest of the people ask for clues as to where he is. So there's a game board and then there are clue cards that say, is he in a room with a bed? Is he in a room with a sink? And the person who is it says yes or no. And then there are cards that say, go look. And you can go look until the sand timer runs out. This has been super fun. We did discover that he's not yet old enough to hide it and keep it a secret because he just wants to tell you where it is. But there again, that's the fun of this age. And I know I will look back and fondly remember the time when he couldn't be it. And then, you know, in a, in a year or two, he will probably be able to conceal his hiding spot a little bit better. 
All right, guys, so that wraps up my vlog this time. Let me know down in the comments what you and your family have been doing to pass the time. Maybe that's something that you could share and help everybody else out. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe for more content like this as the quarantine is sort of lifting a little bit. I'm hoping to have more content for yard sales and thrifting, which is what I enjoy sharing most. All right, you guys take care and I'll talk to you in the next video.